Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing great. This is another update for the Alicia Moors, which is an animated series that I'm working on for my second channel, uh, Stories with Blender. Already 42 of you have already subscribed, so that's awesome. Thank you for that. And yeah, I've been getting a lot of suggestions on how to collaborate with the community to make this possible because even when uh, I'm trying to make it as a low poly version that I can really easily make, uh, there's still a lot of work to do. So I've, get, I've been getting a lot of suggestions on uh, how to collaborate with the community so that the community or the audience can hop out. And uh, I got this suggestion. One of the suggestions that I found really interesting was one from I am deaf, the Duke. I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. And uh, this is what he was suggesting. This might be a stupid idea. Mine, not yours. Uh, it, it's a great idea, by the way. So, so I'll just continue with his comment, but you could give it a try. So you have about 21k subs and a lot of your users and a lot of users into Blender. You could split up one of your stories in into like 10 seconds apart. Then you would have for a two minute video about 12 parts and just ask people if they want to help make those. I mean, everyone will make it his, in his own style, but it would be cool to see the end results. Yeah, yeah, this is a great suggestion and it would be very engaging with the community. And uh, I think a lot of it would be a, a great opportunity uh, for everyone to learn from. Uh, the problem is, again, as you suggested, everyone has a different, uh, as you mentioned, everyone has a different art style and uh, everyone has, is able to produce different quality which is not something I'm worried too much about because this is a, just a uh, like a a proof of concept or just trying out something new and different uh, from all the other channels that we that are on YouTube, which is a ton. Uh, so I'm willing to just overlook the difference in quality, and uh, but uh, because of our audience, uh, it's an international audience, and there are a lot of different. Uh, issues that comes with that, especially with a difference in times, and uh, it's, it would be really hard to manage that kind of workflow uh, where you have uh, you give just 12 seconds to someone to work on, and then another 12 seconds to someone to work on. I'm, I'm, and I'm always just not sure where to move my story. So when I'm working on a story, I just go into Blender and start setting up things, and uh, start setting up my cameras where I want the camera to be and then I just move uh, the characters in those positions in, in those depending on the what the camera is watching to set up the scene uh, it would be very difficult to work to continue working that way uh, which I think is a more efficient way to work uh, if I have teams uh, like that but uh, this is uh, still a nice suggestion and I think it's very engaging so what I'm doing uh, I've set up a new Discord server called Community Collaboration Projects, and uh, I'm just taking your comment uh, from Ian at the doc, and uh, just adding a twist to it. So instead of working on the episodes I'll be making, what we're going to be doing, uh, if any one of you wants to collaborate, so what we're going to be doing is a uh, work on on a scene basis instead of. Uh, an animation sequence which would be harder to make so I'm challenging the community if you want to participate uh, to work on something like this Let me just see if I can get to work on something like this so I would upload an image like this and that anyone who wants to participate they can choose what part they want to make you can you can uh, decide to make uh, the piano or uh, this tool or okay, this is not the piano, this is the piano, whatever this is, uh, or the chandelier, uh, the ceiling. Uh, so, and uh, I'm setting up a few rules here uh, that you might want to read through. Uh, maybe let me just read through them because I, I was thinking through this more deeply than uh, I'm right now. So, in here, we challenge ourselves to collaborate on a project. Any Anyone in the community can create the project, the objects in the challenge. We shall use said models to put together a scene, for, for example, this scene, movie sequence, or whatever we manage to do. Make sure to name the model you make. So 
For example, if you decide to make a say this piano, I would suggest you name the project file your name and also the model, for example, this tree your name so that when I have that model in, when I get that model, I know who made it so that I can corrupt, so that I can correct, uh, credit them in the videos. Uh, so, uh, where is that? Yeah, so then rule number two would be check the YouTube channel for available challenges so that you don't work on something we have already finished working on. Uh, then rule three, when you choose to make a specific, uh, spellings uh, <laughs> trouble, uh, make a specific object or model in the challenge, make sure to quote the image you have selected uh, fr you have selected from with your name and declare you're working on it. So for example, if I choose to work on this carpet, I can just go here and then quote and say, I'm working on the carpet. And uh, that will make it easier for everyone to, to know what you're working on so that they work on something different. And uh, I'm not really worried. I, I don't really care about uh, how good you are. It doesn't matter if you take sharing the objects, just do it to the best of your ability and then we'll put up, we'll put this in together later. So if anyone wants to make the entire uh, room, I would suggest not to make the everything in the room, just make whatever you manage to, you're able to make. And uh, there is no time constraints. Uh, that would be rule number three, I think. We are not setting any hard rules on delivery times, but 24 hours would be optimal, though you are free to work around your schedule, because I know everyone has a different schedule, but uh, some of you might still want to participate. Uh, so you don't have to constrain yourself to 24 hours. You can deliver in whatever time you, you manage to, uh, to, uh, to, to deliver. Uh, but uh, remember that uh, if at least 50% or 80% of the objects are delivered, then I'll be able to put together the entire thing, the scene, because you know, I'm not sure if, how many might be able to participate. So yeah, when at least 80 or 70% or even 50%, depending on how many people choose to, uh, to uh, take this on, uh, then I'll put together the scene, uh, get all the models everyone has made and uh, just yeah share the project uh, on discord uh, the final project with everyone's uh, models in it and uh, also make a video about it and uh, maybe talk about uh, the different models in the scene how they could be improved and uh, anything like that so if you choose to text other the models that's also okay but uh, if you text the model make sure that you go under file external data and then pack all the textures into that blend file so that when you upload that model or that project you don't have any missing textures yeah so that's what we're going to be doing uh for now um, i'll still continue working on this other project because uh if we collaborated on that and it would be very difficult for me to uh, to manage that project and uh yeah, I'm making up the story as I go, so and I don't want to spoil to spoil other uh, stories uh, to anyone who wants to collaborate in case they they are also interested in uh, listening to the story also or watching the the story develop. So that's it, I think, uh, for this update. Uh, again, if you want to watch what we will be able to make with the uh, series, just subscribe to this. And uh, I've already recorded some of the story. Um, now, today I'm just going to work on the uh, setting up the scene, making sure everything works fine. And uh, maybe by tomorrow, I should have at least one episode uh, for the Alicia Moors so that I can introduce that uh, cinematic world and uh, see how else to proceed. And uh, I think as we move forward with the story, I'll be changing the art style a bit because uh, as I be as I be uh, I be as I get more familiar with the workflow and uh, improving improving the workflow, I might change this, the art style a bit. Maybe make it more and more realistic than what we begin with. So you might see that transition happening if things go according to plan.
So that's it. I thank you for watching.